Some women dream of having long flowing hair, but here in Atlanta, Georgia, things have got a little out of control. Meet Asha Mandela, who has the world's longest dreadlocks. A lot of people refer to me as the Black Rapunzel. They refer to me as a legend. They refer to me as the ninth wonder of the world. People tell me all the time that I inspire them. 50-year-old Asha began growing her hair in her 20s in a spiritual quest to change her life. I started growing my hair 25 years ago. I started having certain dreams and visions about changing my lifestyle and everything about my way of life. But her controversial decision didn't please everyone. When I told my mom I was going to grow locks, she said, after I groomed your hair so nice with um, grease and all those things, this is what you want to do with the nice girls. Eventually winning her family over, Asha then shot to fame in 2009 when her dreadlocks, which at the time measured 19 feet 6 inches, won a Guinness World Record. Over the years, Asha's hair has grown even longer. Oh my god, we actually ran out of tape. This is crazy, and this measure tape is 25 feet long. Amazingly, one strand of hair has exceeded all expectations. 55 feet 7 inches. Oh my god, I don't believe this. This is. I'm sweating. This is too much. And it's not just the length of Asha's hair that's extreme. Weighing 39 pounds, her locks are so heavy she has to carry them in a basket on her back. Oh my god. Are you serious? And that's right. However, Asha's hair could be causing some serious side effects. The doctors seem to think that I have a curvature of my spine and it's the length and the weight of my hair that's making me curve more than I should. I've had doctors say to me that my neck has collapsed at the back and that I need to be careful. I can start having spasms and stuff in my spine and probably be paralyzed. It may be record breaking, but Asha's hair presents her with significant challenges, especially when it comes to washing it. I wash my hair once a week. I used to wash it like three times a week and I was told that it, it's too much. Once washed, it can take up to two days to dry. But the demands of her hair haven't caused problems in one area her love life. A lot of men out there are crazy for women with long hair. My hair has never posed a problem with intimacy. I think it adds a little spice on it. Despite the warnings, Asher is planning to keep on growing her hair. When I first started, it was more of a spiritual journey. It wasn't anything to do with a fad or style and fashion. After 25 years of growth, my hair has really become part of me. And I feel like if I ever cut my hair, I'd be really taking away my life. Besides that, we have become one, so I couldn't imagine life without. I will never cut my hair.